just left our Airbnb, which was really nice and actually the cheapest place to stay around here. And now we're heading to Antelope Canyon. We'll put a link for the Airbnb that we stayed in just in case anybody wants to come to Antelope Canyon or the Grand Canyon or Horseshoe Bend, all the places that we're showing you guys around here. It's actually, it's a private room. You have your own room and bathroom inside someone's house. Her name is Jenna. It's a very sweet lady, um, very nice home. It's in like a residential area, but it's right in the middle of Page, 10 minutes away from Antelope and Horseshoe Bend, and like five minutes into town where all the restaurants and bars and everything. It wasn't really even home, so we kind of had the house all to ourselves. Um, two people? Two? Yes. I could do... Latanya. Latanya, I'm Rob. And I'm Chris. Okay. So can you get let us get away with shooting a little bit of video today? A little bit. Cool. Yeah, just help promote it. Awesome. Yeah, we're all Latanya's awesome tour guide. Yes. If you come here, ask for her. <laughs> or just give her a good recommendation. She doesn't even have to take you out. Yeah, Pretty crazy, it looks exactly yeah. like him. Tail, it's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Wow. It's gonna be called Smiling Shark. It's actually gonna look like Smiling Shark. Cool. Well, usually these rock formations are actually found by little kids. They actually find these for us. And we actually just go on and it. Yeah. So the way this rock came to be, the water brought it in, placed it right here, applied so much pressure against it, and now it's stuck there. Wow. So, like I said, a lot of critters in this canyon, so I don't advise you guys to stick your fingers in there, okay? Yeah. 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 You guys notice this dark spot on the wall right here? That dark spot is actually still wet with water. There's still water trapping on the same spot. All this area around over here is all dried up. All the white stuff on the walls are just calcium. So, Apple Stream Saver is Shark.
All right, guys, so that was Lower Antelope Canyon. They say you're not allowed to video down there, but we ended up with a really cool tour guide who got a really nice tip for letting us film for you guys down there. Yeah. I was gonna sneak in anyhow, but right out of the gate, pretty much, some lady told me there's no recording down there. So if you're planning on coming here and recording video, they might not let you do it unless you get our tour guide. What was her name? Latanya. Latanya. So check out Latanya. Make sure you see her in the video. Make sure you see her here. If she's here, she's gonna let you shoot video. There were other tour guides there also that were behind us and stuff that didn't seem to mind that I was doing what I was doing. And I just wasn't taking very much time. You just can't be on a whole movie shoot or anything like that. There's you a lot of people just, around. They're kind yeah. of pushing you forward and stuff like that, so. You kind of just have to move and yeah. just get quick shots. At the Ranch House Grill, getting some breakfast right now. They got shit on the walls in this place, so it looked pretty cool. After this, we're gonna head to Joshua Tree. A seven hour drive. We don't mind it though, because we're together and we like being together. If you guys hadn't noticed, then it's cool. And we've always wanted to go to Joshua Tree. My sound was kind of out when we were in the canyon because I couldn't have my microphone. I don't know if you guys can make that out when I was explaining it to you there before, but if you can't make out my sound, you wouldn't have found out about it anyhow because I just took all that stuff and used it for B-roll and made really cool shots out of it. But you got to see her butt too. cactus in real life it's crazy it's so cool but these are real Arizona cactus yeah it's so cool very cool let's stand next to it it's crazy <laughs> this is the historic downtown of Wickenburg it's really cool they have everything all done like Old West stuff yeah it's so on the way through. After Sedona, we hit this. And we're still on our way to Joshua Tree. We're just taking our time because we're not gonna get there by any good time tonight. We're just gonna kind of sleep in that area. We're gonna pretty much show you guys Joshua Tree National Park the whole day tomorrow, pretty much. And then we're gonna head to LA by nighttime, find a hotel to sleep in and do all that. But let's get back on the road. All right guys, so we were just literally driving through to Joshua Tree and we found an abandoned town, a complete ghost town, but not like an old west ghost town, an old western ghost town, I guess you could say. It's more modern, kind of like trailer style homes, maybe like three, two, three bedroom homes, but there's at least, what? I don't even know. 200 homes here. It's just in the middle of this dark road. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find a spot to park overnight, sleep, and get up in the morning. Just looks like there's weird things going on inside of there. I thought I was seeing movement inside of there. Nobody's going in there. It's all gated off. It's really weird. It's like super, super creepy actually. Yeah. But we can't get through, there's gates on either side yeah so we're not gonna drive we'll come back tomorrow when we can find some place to park well we could put the drone up yeah well, and we then kind of scout it out it. but yeah definitely that's cool <laughs> So 
So after a long drive with a couple of cool stops, we got to Joshua Tree. Cottonwood Visitor Center, completely closed down. We're gonna sleep in the parking lot for the night. We're really, really tired. It's starting to get really windy out here again. So we're just gonna say peace. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Late.